Hi guys, today we're going to be doing practice at Java edition 5, exercise 4.10, print GPA. Um, write a method named print GPA that calculates a student's grade point average. The user will type a line of input containing the student's name, then a number of scores, followed by that many integer scores. Here are two example dialogues. Okay, so if you look at the examples, um, we get user input. Right, enter a student record. We'll probably have to end up using scanner. Um, and what they give us is the name of the student, which we need to print out this last sentence. And then five isn't actually one of their scores. So five is the number of scores that we get. And so all we have to do is add these scores and divide them by the number of scores we get. Okay, so I'm just going to start off. There are two ways to do this, I think. So I'm just going to try and show you guys both. Okay, so public static void print jp. Okay, so because we're asking the user for input, we're going to have to use scanner, just like they tell us to, right? Use scanner for user input. <clears throat> so I'm going to create a scanner object, name mine n, okay, so now that we've created our scanner object, we're going to have to ask them to enter the student record, so let's do that using system.out.print. Okay, so now that we've asked them that, what we're going to do is take the name and put it in a separate variable. And I'm going to name my string variable just name and use n.next. So what n.next does is it takes the user input, takes whatever up until the first space. So we have Maria inside name. Okay, so the next thing to do is we have to know how many times and how many scores that we'll be receiving, right? Because in this case, for Maria, it's five, and for Jordan, it's four. So to do that, what we're going to do is, oh no, int. I'm going to use int, and I'm going to name my num score and set that equal to n.next int. So this one's easy because the computer just scans the user input until it finds the first integer, which is five. Okay, and then the point of like, giving all these scores is to add them together, right? And then eventually divide them by the num score. So I'm going to create a separate variable that's going to have all the total sum of all the scores. And I'm going to make that um, double because obviously if you look at the GPA it is a decimal, not an integer. So I'm going to name mine sum, set it equal to 0, 0.0. Okay, so now we have to do the work of collecting all the scores. And since we're doing something repetitive, I'm just going to be using the for loop. Less than, and we only want to be doing it num score amount of times. So, okay. So each time we see a number, what we have to do is add it to the sum, right? So I'm just going to do sum plus equal, and then n dot next. And so once we do that, most of the hard work is done because we have the sum and we have the num score. All we have to do is follow the template, right? So print name plus, and we also have an apostrophe s, so I'm not putting a space in front. And then grade is, okay, so now for the actual GPA. All we have to do is take the sum and divide it by the num score. 
and then we should be good. Okay, and we're good to go. Okay, so wait, let me show you guys the second method. Um, it still works the same. There's more more code to it, but um, might as well try. So I'm just gonna copy this because the code is pretty similar. So we have our method, our name of the method, and then we have our scanner. The scanner use is still the same, and we still ask the same question. The only thing different um, is starting from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a string called student record. Just abbreviate that to sr and do end on next line this time. And so what that does is it just simply takes the entirety of the user input. So all that I've highlighted up here, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, put all of this into an array. I'm going to do string record. Um, I'm doing my area array record, by the way, um, and do sr dot split, and I'm splitting by space. So what this does, the split function does is, um, it takes the user input, right, and it splits each item to hold one one place in the array. So this is at index zero. This will be at index one, the five index 2, index 3, and so on and so forth. Because what it does is it just splits by the space that we put in, right? Um, in other cases, you can change the space to a comma if the object objects that you want separated are separated by commas um, and things like that. So in this case, it's separated by spaces, so I'm going to save it at spaces. Um, and then yeah, so that's how we put it into an array. And so now that we have everything in an array, um, this name is going to be, I'm just going to change it to record and change it to the first index, index zero, right? Because this array right now is basically just going to be Korea. Right, so Maria, the name that we need is at index zero. So that's what's happening here. And then um, we need to get num score. And same for num score, we just have to change it to record index one. Okay. And then for this, keep double sum because we still need to add. Right, and then here it's going to be different starting from here. So if you look at the array, the scores that we need to add start at index 2, right? So I'm just going to change i is equal to 0 to i is equal to 2. And then we're going to start and stop when we go over the length of record. So just change this to record. Length. Okay, and so from here, we still add everything to the variable sum, but we just need to change everything to double because... I know I didn't put like quotes around this, but everything is still string. So how we're gonna do that is just double dot parse double. And oops. And so here's the reason why I changed i is equal to two, right? I'm gonna add everything to sum by getting it through the array, right? So I just need to do record i, and then what it's gonna do is it's gonna start at i equals two, right? So it's gonna start at record. 2, which is 72, and go on until 78. And then, yeah, we're good to go. Name plus grade. Oops. Oops, let me just continue to parse it this really quick. And there we go. Um, so those are the two methods that I thought would work. Um, the second one is kind of unnecessarily complicated, but um, 
I guess it's nice to experiment with using this double dot parse double and things like that and the split function.